finalist for Andy Wardle, who's up on the Bloomin' Mountain. Keep climbing, kid. Yep. Back out. Something on the lens. I'll have to clean that. Windy. Forecast is dry. With the chance of rain showers. You never know up here. We're in the lakes again. We're going up there. It's not far from the car park, but by God, it looks steep. We've got to go up, up the side of there. Sawmill Gill. Get me water. And then up the top there, along that, round the back of it. And then you come up the back end of it. But whew, looks steep, steep. So I'm with the wee man. There he is. Apparently, it's been in the papers. They're saying there's links around here. I can't see myself like with all them sheep around. Anyway, we'll get going. This is a steep bit, so there might be no talking here. I cannot speak. There's loads of people up there. Yeah, he's there. Look. See them, I. They've gone uh, maybe up to that bit. Giant mattresses. Yeah. Christ. Just getting there would be enough for me. I wouldn't want to be climbing anymore. Rich. A nice area, like. <laughs> the funny ladder style. Oof. Oh, he's doing a big pack. A big pack. <laughs> Knock it already. See when I went up Glaramara. Aye, that's Glaramara out there, isn't it? Aye, well I went up to see that gill where that sort of like gully is with the water. In there. Knackered. Aye. <laughs> you got all the gutting, but it's not even the washing. <laughs> yeah. that's, why I that's why I don't put the camera on me now. <laughs> you can't fit us in. This is sour milk gill. Because it looks like uh, it takes sour milk. There's about three or four of them in the lake. Ah, there's loads of them, aye. There's many as there is on those cars. Aye. Not up though. I've still got a canny way to go. All the way up there. In there somewhere. Not easy. Really steep. Always steep. So we've come up quite high. Really steep. And we've come to this road here. And this, don't listen to Eddie Scott's wild camera because this is where the Khyber Pass is. And here's the rain on, folks. This is the Khyber Pass, not uh, where he said. So I'm going to have to put the camera away because it's chucking it down. Christ. The rain's off. We did get a bit wet, but you know. We're just heading up the background, the back of Base Brown now. We have walked for miles. This is a proper hike. 
you've come all the way from that round there, up, up the steep bit and then along here, past this valley, and base brown's up there, up there, but we've got to go up and around, because going up that way, I don't think my legs could take it, like, there is a path, but it's really hard and steep, so, loving it. <laughs> Windy as hell. A bit of rain coming over. It's gonna be wild this like. I suppose that's why they call it wild camping, isn't it? Really? God, this path. Not easy walking on these stones are wet. Sleepy. Scrambling on rocks of death again. Oh, I'm sure there's an easier way. We're just cutting. Should have gone the easy way. We should have. We're cutting corners. Save time. Time's pushing on. 17.34. You can't forward one step, you come back three. how steep it is. <laughs> oh, he's get off that. Couldn't walk on it. Oh dear. Nearly there. Nearly there, and then it's blowing a bloody gale. So that's gonna be good. Lovely weather over there, like. Should have went over there. Ah, it is. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, what a hike. So, Grey Knots at Brandreth, Green Gable, Great End. Over there, Sprinkling Town is in there somewhere. Great Gables over the back of there. You've got Robinson, Hines, Garth, the other Just heading up to the top now. Wind's really dropped. Oop. Top of base brown. Boosh! <laughs> Gotta find the pitch now, like. There's a nice little bit there, but there's only room for one. one <laughs> dead, I've never known such spite. A pile of stains. Oh, we'll find somewhere, somewhere down here, like. Oh yeah. That's a good spot, man. You know, well. Uh... You have to jiggy your guy lines a bit. Enough for you. Jiggy your guy lines. Yeah. Over there. Uh, Strenuous bit. walk. Not sure how many miles. Johnny Boot. What do you think about two, three miles? What's that? The walk. Uh, something like that. Not far at all, but it's the, it's the fact that we're coming up from the valley, Borrowdale, and it's. It's straight up, you're not parked halfway up it. So you're doing the full ascent, like, that's the pitch. <sighs> Managed to find the only two flat spots on this whole hill. Even then, they're a bit sketchy. Mine's all right. Oh, watch out for hidden depths. So there's Rob set up. Alright, nice and flat. 
Yeah, it's not bad inside, like. Yeah. A few lumpy bits, but they should flatten out when... Uh, Bit of padding off the grass. Yeah, uh, when I lie down, it should yeah. be all right, like. It's comfortable enough, like. I had a lie down in it before, and it's all right. In a bit of a dip, but the sleeping area, like I said in the last video, it's the sleeping area that you need to get right. I mean, look at this. If that rock was flat, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't look great, but it is. It's all right. But that is my view out the door. Borrowdale. We just, we just parked down the bottom here. And amongst them trees there, down that way. But what a walk. We came all the way up the side of there. All the way through that valley down there. Around the back of here. Right over the back of there. And then you sort of come back on yourself. And then you drop. Well, you don't drop down. You go up. Up to the top, the top of base brown's up there somewhere, and we've dropped down because we want to get out the wind. Plus, there was nowhere up there. It was pretty wet underfoot, so we've come down. But haven't we done well by coming down? Mint! That's Derwent Water over there. I think. No, not much of a sunset, but you know, can't have everything. So I'm just gonna unpack everything and then have a quick look at the beers when I get them out. And then I don't think we'll be doing much more filming till tomorrow. Because it's too cold. I'm in my tent. I'm thinking about binning that off. Because it's causing this to slide around on the map. Not exactly flat, so it's not open. Anyway, we'll come to that. So, we've got strawberry bomb. Strawberry sour, 4%. Tiny rebel. Nice. Oh, I don't know, I've never had it before. Might not be nice. This one is a, a Northern Monk Patrons Project. Pigs, pigs. Pigs, pigs. Pigs, pigs. Pigs, pigs. pigs. Psycho pomp. And that is a John Peeler. Oh. Hold on. No idea what that's about. Not a clue. That was a uh, this one. Seven percent. Tropical mango thing. This one vocation. <laughs> Oktoberfest Doppelbock Special release 8% That's a stout but apparently it's got all kinds of flavours going on Yeah It's been, it's in, it's um, it's spicy, it's chocolate, it's all the rest of it Find out Salt This is a new brewery Huckaback Any IPA 5.5 That'll be alright I've had this one before, Anarchy. I quite like that one. Buried in hops. That's eight and a half percent. I thought it was only seven percent, but it's about a bit much like. Anyway, so I'm just gonna look out my door. This view. There's the boots, and there's the view. Corker. So I'm gonna put the camera away unless anything spectacular occurs. I don't think it will. Apart from rain. The forecast to be raining in the morning, like, so there might not be any film in the morning. Maybe in the morning, the first thing, but after that, just give it up. Ugh. Anyway, right. I'll just continue getting this ready. And then we'll chill out, get a beer on. After six o'clock now. Double book. Yep. It's gone horribly wrong.
Oh, it's just a passing shower. Mm, well, I think all will be it. And now we're just trying to get some sleep. And onslaught tomorrow. It's apparently it's going to be like this tomorrow going down. That would be good. So, everybody listen to Craig Charles' show. I got another shout out. Loves me. I think I'm mad. One of the two. No. Oh. No, oh, listen to this one. It's all coming on the back of here as well. It's gonna be wet up. Heidi high. No. Note. Not a thing. This is the way we're going down. Down straight down the front. There's a path that leads down there, like we're not sure how steep it is, but I think it's quicker than the look where we'll come up. I would like to get down before the rain starts getting heavy. Oh, so I'm gonna get the kettle on. I have a cup of tea. Not gonna be much filming here, is it? Well, so we're just having a. Uh, well, we're just having a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, like. Oh, packing up, slow pack. It's no rush. It said it's going to be heavy rain by 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock now. You can see it's getting misty, but it's new, not raining. Anyway, this is the path we're going to be taking. Down here. Down there. Down that way. Into the gloom. It looks wild. It looks really bad and steep. I actually look it on a bit. It levels off a bit down there. But on the map it looks alright, it looks doable, it doesn't look too bad. This is where we're pitched. Next door neighbours. Right next to them rocks. If that rock had been flat that would have been great for putting your beer on. <laughs> Built in table. But uh, yeah, the weather's turning now. It's turning, the weather. Is it? Oh, the, you can see the clouds thickening up. Probably will get wet for just to get waterproof sun, like, be alright. It's uh, nine Utahs, is it? Nah, so, uh... I'm used to it now. I've got a drying regime worked out now. Always prepare for all your stuff to be soaking wet and then you're not disappointed when you get home. Right, we'll crack on. I'm still tired. Oh dear. Whew. There's Rob, all cleared away. There's me. Patch. See, the sleeping area was quite quite comfortable, actually. I was sliding a little bit that way, but stopped. Didn't go all the way. Anyway, we're off. Just gonna leave that rubbish there. Somebody else can pick that up. <laughs> it's too much effort to carry a little tiny bag of rubbish down, man. I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so we're heading off into the gloom there. God knows what this is going to be like. I've already slipped on my backside twice and we're just packing away. So that's it. I'm going to put my camera away because the rain's coming. And we'll uh, be back for the next one, whenever that is. Boosh. Oh, so we're coming down. Coming down off there. Down the path. We just follow the path. It's not as bad as it looks. Continue past the wee round. This one down. Or down that way. Down this path up somewhere. Follow it. Then the cars are there. 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 Uh, so we've come down 
going from there. Oop. There's no path. We can't find a path, so we'll just make them around the top. Now we're heading down there. The rocks are lethal. Slippy, slippy in the foot. We'll just make them our own way down. The path ends back there, it just stops. Which is no good, is it? That's all that about. Right on the map, it says it just stopped. I thought it would be like clear how to get down after that, but it's not. Anyway, I'm going to stop filming because this is lethal. I already fell twice. So we've come along there. There's no path like through Boulder Field. And I've got to maneuver our way down to the wall there. It's just there. There's no cliffs or anything, so it should be alright. But God, it exhausts you. So we came from there, back of that, down the side, round, round here, through the boulders. Now we're on some some form of terra firma. We're not out of the woods yet, like are we? Not yet. After the wall, there's the walk down the waterfall, which is like just sheer, it's like that. Boulders like that, and slippy as out. It was slippy yesterday when they were dry, so could be fatal this like. Are you having fun? I am. Actually, it's sour milk gill might not be here. Right, so summarise. We came, we came off the top. Base brown is at the back of there. We came down this way, around the back of it, and along there. There's a better path down that way, which we've seen from down here. But we're now back to the waterfall, back on this path. Path of death. Really, really hard to walk on these. They all slope, slope down, and they're all dead slippy. I don't know what they're doing. They fix the fells, you know. They, they do a good job, but God, the dangerous paths. I don't think they think it through properly. Coming a bit rant like. <laughs> they really are dangerous like. It's to preserve the mountain, but oh God. Hard to walk on. And you rant over. Because we're nearly at the wall. We're nearly at the Khyber Pass. And then back to the cars. It's, well, it's a tricky bit. Be coming down on my backside there like. Madness. <laughs> well, the fold is down there. Oh, I'm on my backside here, like this is. <laughs> I'm just coming down on my backside. Oh, I just slipped in that bit, like. like a magic slide. Crazy. Big packs on. Not recommended. Go on, let's do it. That's well, what's. <laughs> Stick that on there. Stick, yeah. <sighs> Still not a bit of a woods yet. Get down to this bit. Around there's another hard bit. But we're nearly down. Nice. And we just come down this path here. All the way up there. Oh, that slain terrible to come down that way. We came down from there, back to there. Ooh, done now, like. Knackered. Knackered. Aye, well then, breakfast coming up. Let me show. Breakfast and a drink of tea. Hey? Eh? Drink of tea. Neat. So that's it. That's all the filming I think I'm going to do. So just to recap, we were on there, at the base brown. This is the way we came down, down the front there, down the side, down the waterfall, all the rest of it. And now, we're at the car park. And, look at this. It's nice when you get out your wet clothes, like every camp has ended in the morning wet. It's all right. I don't mind it being wet in the morning, coming down, but 
it's the night when you're camping and you need it to be dry. So that's it. I'm signing off. I'll see you next time. Boosh.